Every so often, I'll hear people reference Chris Chibnall's five-year plan for Doctor Who. It seems to have been built up as this massive master plan that is the man's vision for where the show is going to go over his five years as showrunner, and lots of fans find themselves quite interested in speculating what direction that's going to be, and I myself understand the appeal of theorizing about the future of the show and what the showrunner plans to do with it, but whenever discussions around this five-year plan come up, I can't help but find myself immediately disinterested in them because Chibnall's five-year plan is a lie. So if this entire idea that Chibnall has some grand five-year plan for the show is a myth, then where exactly did it come from? Searching through Google, it is not hard to find many references of this plan in articles from sites including Digital Spy and Sci-Fi Wire, with a smattering of pieces from websites I've never heard of before. However, the most useful piece of information came from the Royal Television Society in an article entitled, Chris Chibnall, The Man Who Reinvented the Cliffhanger. Contained within is an interview with James Strong, who has worked with Chris Chibnall as an associate producer on Broadchurch for the first 10 episodes as well as directing 7 of them. In this interview, we hear Strong talk about how he is a mixture of surprised and not surprised about Chibnall finally accepting the role of showrunner on Doctor Who, stating that the only significant reason the man would be likely to decline such a part would be due to the time commitment involved. Any reticence would be about the scale and length of the commitment. It's a five-year project. That was a huge decision. He's in his absolute prime and could have done anything he wanted writing-wise. It's an absolutely wonderful result for Doctor Who. I think Chris essentially writes emotional thrillers, and that's perfect for the show. You probably spotted it, but this is the origin of the five-year plan you have likely heard reference to by fans speculating what that plan could entail. Maybe you've even indulged in such speculation yourself, which is a perfectly fine thing to do. But what I think is worth noting is what was said and who said it. James Strong, a man who has worked with Chibnall but has not collaborated with him on Doctor Who during his tenure, stated in reference to the time commitment that Chibnall would be undertaking in accepting the role of showrunner that it would be a five-year project. To the absolute best of my abilities in researching the origin of the claim that Chibnall has a five-year plan, this is where it comes from. And in truth, these two are hardly synonymous. You might be asking yourself, well, what really is the difference between a five-year project and plan, and I think there is quite a big one, primarily because of the context we have just discussed about what the term was in reference to and how it seems to have been misinterpreted by some in the fandom. And for the record, I do not believe it was deliberately misconstrued by most fans. I think it is likely that there were many people that saw articles like the Sci-Fi Wire one that were titled, New Who Showrunner Chris Chibnall Promises Bold Five-Year Plan, and took the headlines literally when in fact people were being misled by such headlines. If you actually read the article, they never directly quote James Strong's words when he says five-year project, which we know to be the origin of the length of the time period Chibnall will be working on the show. The only time they say five years in this extremely short article is in these words written by the author set in between quotes from Chibnall. So far, so intriguing, despite the fact that I'm not a fan of weekly serialized storytelling, I'm a huge binge watcher and hate having to wait week after week for a story to unfold, but hey, that's just me. Seemingly on board for the next five years, yep. Chibnall also added that he's been keeping away from the social media frenzy trying to offer advice on who should replace Peter Capaldi as the new Doctor. As you can see, the only actual reference to this five-year plan the title mentions is when discussing the amount of time that Chibnall will be showrunner for. It's a tiny note within the overall paragraph. And let's break down the title for a second. New Who showrunner Chris Chibnall promises bold five-year plan. Now, he did kind of promise new and exciting things, mentioning when questioned about the BBC's attempts to hire him that, I finally said yes because I love the show to my bones. I resisted it for a very long time, and the BBC really had to woo me. But in the end, I had ideas about what I wanted to do with it. When I went to them and said, this is what I would do, I actually expected them to say, oh, let's talk about that, but they said, great. What the BBC was after was risk and boldness. As you can see, he does kind of promise a new direction for the show, though it is basically a footnote in the interview. Maybe you could have titled the article, New Who Showrunner Chris Chibnall Promises Bold Plans, which would be largely accurate, but stating that Chris Chibnall himself promised a bold five-year plan is an utter misrepresentation of the truth when the period of time he would be working on the show came from a co-worker's quote who is uninvolved in the current era of the show, and when all Chibnall really said was that the BBC was looking for risk and boldness. So effectively, 
effectively the article is lying. Sorry everybody, you've been deceived by the most trustworthy source of all time. And looking at how this was interpreted by some within the fandom, as I mentioned towards the beginning, it was basically as though Chris Chibnall had this massive, bold, five-year plan that was like some master blueprint of where the show was going to go during his tenure. It's got some sort of a high reputation and is also considered to be like a real thing that people fairly frequently reference, which is not the case because it's a lie. And you might be sitting at home asking yourself, hey, why are you bringing this up now? Why is this something you want to talk about almost three, four years after Sci-Fi Wire published that article that seemingly started the whole thing, and the reason for that is because even after all this time, people still bring up this five-year plan as if it were something that Chibnall has promised and we still aren't sure where the plan is going to take us, but that's not the case. As we've established, the five-year time period is simply in relation to how long the job is going to take, not the scope of the stories he is going to be telling. When researching for this video, I came across a Reddit post from as recently as three months ago in which somebody was discussing Chibnall's five-year plan, which again, for all we know, doesn't actually exist. Even saying in their post, Chibnall has always said he had a five-year plan for Doctor Who. Which while almost certainly not a deliberate lie on the part of the poster, this does go to show the level to which people actually believe this five-year plan exists and is something that was promised by Chibnall. Hell, this script took me a little bit to write, and later in the day after having started the writing process, when I was just spending time on Twitter, not even doing research, I came across someone referencing Chibnall's five-year plan. So I am making this video now because it is still relevant today. People still talk about this as if it's a real thing, when actually it was a quote from a coworker of Chibnall's who didn't work on Doctor Who with the man, wasn't referring to any sort of grand plan, and was actually talking about the amount of time out of Chibnall's life it would take to show run Doctor Who. My goal in even discussing this is simply to spread awareness for the fact that this elusive fictional plan which has been discussed and theorized was simply that, fictional. It was a lie made up by some author who probably just wanted a title with better clickbait. I don't really know how many people already knew that this was a fabrication by some writer, but I do hope that I have educated some of you about the origins of the term five-year project and how it has really just been blown so far out of proportion into this massive idea which all originated from a lie. And the thing is, for all we know, Chibnall actually does have some mythical five-year plan that was laid out before Series 11 aired that dictates exactly where the show is going from the beginning to the end of his era as showrunner. Or maybe he has ideas of where he wants to take it, but is planning it series by series. Or perhaps he's making the whole thing up as he goes along, but the truth is we don't really know. So while it's technically possible for this five-year plan to be real, we don't have anything from the people who actually work on Doctor Who to even support that. And having said all of that, one thing that I want to make absolutely clear is that it is 100% okay to have any speculation or theories about Chibnall's era, the future of it, and what he is doing with the show that you would like. Speculation is a huge part of fandom and I wouldn't want to take that away from anybody, nor am I trying to, or even saying that it is wrong because it is not. So please know that this video is not about the people who have dedicated significant time to discussing this fictional five year plan. What it is ultimately about is misinformation and clickbait, because Chris Hibnell's five year plan is a lie. And that does it for today, everybody. I do hope you learned something from this. I'm going to leave a poll in the info card where you can tell me if you already knew that Chibnall's five-year plan was a lie or not. I'm super curious as to what you all have to say about that because I don't really have any idea how much people already know about this. You can also leave your thoughts in the comments down below if you so wish. I'm definitely eager to read what you have to say. This was a very different sort of video for me. I've never really done anything like this before, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I had absolutely no intention of misrepresenting the truth in this video. And if I have missed something quite obvious that you are aware of, then please, please let me know because I am not trying to lie to anybody. I presented the truth to the best that I was able to find it about the origins of this quote and how it was entirely misrepresented by clickbait and how that led to people thinking it was much more than it actually was. So yeah, if there's something obvious that I've missed, like Chibnall actually referencing the five-year plan for the show, then definitely drop that down below because I do not want to miss anything and I will correct what I've said in this video if new information comes to my attention that I was not aware of before. But as said, I did my absolute best in researching this video to try to make sure I represented the truth of the matter, how it originated, and how it was entirely misrepresented by a clickbait article. And not just one clickbait article, there were multiple, but that was the earliest one I could find was the one from Sci-Fi Wire. 
I do hope to see you around this upcoming Sunday for a review of The Dominators kicking off the Season 6 reviews. And if not, that's absolutely fine, so long as you know that I appreciate your time here today. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and have a lovely week.